So since the release of Lost Ark, Amazon has been doing something I like to call shitting the bed. And by the way, I know Smilegate has an equal part to play in all this stuff, so just apply whatever is relevant to them as well. Right out of the gates, they've had so much trouble communicating things in a timely manner or even communicating things at all. And whenever the old Amazon update came around, it was like a trip to the dentist's office. You never think it's going to be as bad as it ends up being. But you get a free toothbrush out of it, so yay! Oh, and I heard you like things that suck, so here's the least popular skins in Korea, one after another. It's awesome. Platinum skins, a couple of good ones. Northern Lawmaker skins, trash. Omen, trash. Unless you're a warrior, I guess. The fancy outfits that I forgot the name of, trash. And since the cosmetics are coming out at such a glacial pace, everyone looks the exact same. There's almost no way to make the Berserker look good, guys. So you 5 IQ mayhem spamming degenerates that fill up all of my content are starting to take a toll on my eyeballs. Stuff like roadmaps or other general updates came so late and always brought content that was pretty sparse. Their original plan of one class every two months was ludicrous to me. That's only, um... six classes a year. Keep in mind, all of these classes are already made and done with. They literally just need to be translated to English. They could probably do one new class a day considering it seems like they're just machine translating these classes anyway. I could personally do a better job translating this than Amazon has so far. It's that easy. And then Argos dropped, and everyone in the community, myself included, got some pretty bad vibes about the direction the game was going. It seemed pretty clear that Amazon and Smilegate were looking to appeal to the whales. No one on Earth was ready for Argos to drop unless you were rolling in OnlyFans money, a streamer, or both. People were mad, and understandably so. The official Lost Ark forums erupted into flames, and it's been a hellscape of complaining since then. Well, it's actually been that way since before the game came out. I would almost recommend you use Reddit instead, but you probably don't want to go up three shirt sizes. Needless to say, things have been rough, but that was until the Glavier update. The roadmap leaked a bit early, and everyone realized that we were getting the Arcanist and the Destroyer next. People then, of course, calmly and respectfully asked Amazon to bring over the Glavier instead because she's really popular overseas and is really fun to play. And so last minute, they adjusted the content plan and decided to bring out the Glavier in the very next content update. And with her, a lot more stuff than I was expecting. They already had that Naruni racing event and the Guardian event, which were incredibly generous with the rewards. So we were already getting an ocean of honing materials at the time, and they somehow managed to bump up that generosity even further. A free power pass that you could use to bump anyone up to 960? Nice. Then they put out the arc pass with some dookie skins, but it also had a nice battle pass with it to keep you coming back each day, engaging in tons of different types of content, and teaching people to use flares. A truckload of great stuff to earn there, and it was all pretty easy to do. I did it all in no time. And on top of even that, they had the express mission event where you could basically speed level a character all the way to tier 3. Some people who have what I call Deathblade Brain used it on their tier 3 characters despite being begged not to do so, but Amazon straight up gave another pass to those people just to help them out. I wouldn't have. And also Southfern. We didn't like 20 minutes. I don't, I don't remember any of it. At this point, I was starting to get like, okay, Amazon, I see you, as they seductively danced in the corner. And they were absolutely killing it with the communication, letting everyone in the community know any relevant info, good or bad, in a nice, timely manner. It seemed like people really loved the update as well, with Lost Ark getting a huge amount of players and going right back up to first place on the Steam charts again. Granted, only like... 2,000 of these players are actual, real people, but Elon's Tesla warriors have at least done a good job of making fish cheap on the market, so. Ah, I need help here. The final home run here that left me satisfied and even excited with the future of Amazon's direction came with the Destroyer update news. Not only are we getting the Destroyer right after the Glavier, uh, hold on, for my Reddit audience, not only are we getting this heckin' chonky boy who boops guardians on the snoot, we're getting a shocking amount of new content like the new Legion raid. I work full time, so I'm not even close to being ready for that content, so uh, let me know how it is, guys.
They're also adding in a ton of quality of life stuff that people have been begging for since the beginning, like front and back attack indicators. They still haven't added in marriage into the game yet, but I'm a patient man. A bunch more cosmetics, as well as Neria's wardrobe, are also coming to the game, so you guys should have an easier time looking like you do in real life. I'm not crazy about the modern day clothing stuff, but some people really love it, so have fun. We're also getting that big old balance update that just happened in Korea that left Deathblades around the world filling up their collective diapers. In the meantime, I'll be enjoying the new and improved Soul Fist, so... That's basically everything I wanted to talk about. Hopefully Amazon's recent change in behavior has helped you guys feel a little more happy about what's going on, and I wish you all the best. Check out my sponsors over at Gamersubs if you want to help me out. They've been a pleasure to work with. Their stuff is great, it's cheap, it tastes good, it's healthy for you, I use it all the time. And they've even got free samples for you to try out if you want to, so use my promo code LOW for 10% off your order. It would really help me out. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Join my community Discord if you want to come hang out with me. I love you guys, and as always, see you in the next one.